This is the Seasons Tackle April 2021 unboxing. I've never gotten a box from them before. I signed up for a couple of boxes. I got the Monster Bass box and then I got Seasons Tackle. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Let's see what's in this box. One thing that I think uh, is kind of interesting is they put it in a brown box. I actually kind of like that so nobody's like, uh, you know how everybody has porch thieves that you hear about um, stealing all your packages. This one's not as intriguing. If people knew that there was a ton of really good fishing gear in it, they might try to steal it. So I'm excited about that. Let's see if we can get it open. Here we go. I opened it upside down. All right. Inside of the box, we've got the Season Stackle business card for the owner. Thank you for the purchase. You're welcome. All right, some bubble wrap and let's see what's in here. So one of the cool things about this box is their local baits, right? So local here to Minnesota, for the most part, from my understanding, um, they specifically say hand-picked, hand-crafted custom lures. So something to check out if you're interested. I'm not sponsored by these guys. I paid full price for this box. So I pay for everything that you see, which is great because I can give you the raw, honest, transparent feedback on what I like, what I don't like. Tailor-made jigs. It looks like we've got a couple, looks like three treble hooks with some skirts on them or some hair. I can 1000% see myself using these. I'm really excited about that. Really cool. Seasons Tackle sticker inside of the box. Gosh, this box is loaded, I like it. I'll put on the screen uh, which box I got and, and down in the description a link to if you want to sign up for this box. It is a monthly box. Um, I'll put the price on here as well so you can kind of see that. So we've got fishing assault, paddle tails, plastics, two inch paddle tails. Really nice. You can kind of see the color of them. Again, I love the idea of plastics. I don't, I have a ton of them. I'll have to show you guys them at some point. Um, I just don't use them a ton. I haven't had a lot of success. I've tr probably tried them only a handful of times though, so I need to try them more. This year I'm going to do that. This one is right up my alley. It's a tungsten Northern Lights Tackle. Looks like a green head, tiny little hook. This thing is pretty sweet. This is right up my alley for panfish. This I could totally see myself even using during the ice season. So it's probably going to go in one of my ice boxes. Um, I use some of my ice fishing jigs and lures in baits in open water as well. I've got rip and wraps that I use, probably try to go a little bit size bigger for open water, but yes. Uh, JH Custom Baits. This guy is really nicely painted. This is the bait itself. It's a heavier one. Um, I can't, I don't know if it's lead or tungsten, but this is really cool. More plastics fish from Fishing Assault. These are the crappie bullets, red pearl. Be cool. Let's see if there's any other plastics in here. Let's go through all of those first. That's all the plastics, cool. High tech custom painted baits. Ooh, this'll be nice. This is like a rip and wrap, green and black. This is right up my alley. We've got two treble hooks on it. I will for sure use this, excited about that. We've got the Ripper Minnow, three quarter ounce. These guys are great. We've got Captain J's Blade Baits. I really like the colors on this guy. Um, haven't, haven't used this style too much. I do have a few others, so we'll give that a shot this year. Here's a nice one. 1492 company catching and hitting dinger since 1985. This looks like another one that I would um, pull behind a boat trolling with. Uh, really nicely painted. Here is Black Sheep Bait Company. This is whatever this is. It looks like it's a a long. It's got the kind of the bill beak thing on it. Two treble hooks. I like how they put the binder on there so it doesn't hook things. Not sure what this style is called, but we'll have to give it a shot. It feels really light, almost like it would float. Then Larry's Walleye Action, a similar style to the other one. So this definitely must be for walleye. I think this is the walleye and panfish, kind of the mix box. 
So these are probably walleye baits. We've got a, a jig head. I'll have to show you guys this one out on the water, but it doesn't do justice inside of the bag. It's really nicely painted. Not sure who this is, this is from. Jared's Jigs, five millimeter. Man, I, you guys know me, I'm a die hard ice fisherman. So I get excited about these, these baits that come in these boxes that I can use for ice fishing as well. And here's a, a tungsten, another Northern Lights tungsten. Uh, super excited to use this guy. A couple more of the bigger jig heads. These look like they're probably from the same manufacturer or, or same company as this bigger one. Uh, there's two in here. These should be great with uh, like a worm on them, I'm imagining. And then some black with pink eye from J&M Jig Mania. Really nice. And then I got what looks like a uh, slip bobber. You don't actually have to put the bead in because at the top, you can see the hole is tiny. And it looks like they've got metal on the bottom as well. So this is Stan's slip bobbers. So that's this box. If you like this, please hit the like button. It really helps me and the channel out. And if you want to see this each month, I'm going to be doing the unboxing, open it up, and then I'm going to use these things out on the water. I got to build up my supply, get out on the water and start getting some open water content out for you from shore, from boat, from dock. Comment down below if you have tips on how to use any of these baits, any other boxes that I should look at getting. I'm looking to keep two monthly active boxes going. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take it easy.